Okay, so we're going to start out by talking about classifying triangles by sides. So the first type of triangle you can have is called an equilateral triangle, and it has three congruent sides. And if you remember, congruent just means they have equal measures. So we mark by congruent sides by putting little tick marks on each side. So these tick marks just show that all three sides are congruent. Because you can't, you can't just go off what they look like. Like you can't just say they look equal so it's an equilateral triangle. You have to actually measure them or be told that the sides are equal. So the next kind of triangle we have is an isosceles triangle. And it has, it's a triangle that has at least two congruent sides. So for this particular triangle, this side and this side are equal, and this side is just a different length. And the last kind of triangle you can have is a scalene triangle. And it is a triangle with no congruent sides. So we mark this by putting a tick mark, and then two tick marks, and then three tick marks, because none of the sides are equal. So now we're going to do an example using the rules we just learned. OK, so we have these three triangles. And we're told that AB, which is this big side right here, is equal to 7. The length of BC is equal to 5. And the length of CD is equal to 6. And they've already marked on here which sides are congruent. So using this information, we're going to fill in the lengths of the rest of the sides. So since we know that BC is 5 and it's congruent with segment ED, ED are congruent, and we know that because each is marked with one tick mark, we can say that the length of ED is also equal to 5. So we're going to fill that in. Now we're told that CD is equal to 6. And we know that CD and BD and BE right here are all congruent because each is marked with two tick marks. And since we know that CD is 6, we know that BD also has to be 6, and BE has to be 6. So we can mark those on here. And we know that the length of AB, this long one, is 7. And since AB is congruent to this whole segment AD, we know that AD also has to equal 7. So now that we know how to classify triangles by sides, make sure you watch our next video where we're going to talk about classing, classifying triangles by angles.